Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. KMP Kotlin Multiplatform is finally stable and to celebrate that I decided to make a video how you can now take a native Android project and migrate that to a KMP project so you can also write code that works on iOS. So that's of course something that very often happens that you have some kind of Android app then KMP came into the market and now you want to take this existing Android app and migrate it into a project where you can have a shared code section, an iOS specific section and an Android specific section. And in order to do that, I have prepared a little uh, native Android project and we now want to take this native Android project, it's really just an empty blank project, I want to take this and migrate it to a KMM project or KMP it's actually called nowadays. And the first thing you need to make sure is that you actually have the KMP plugin installed in Android Studio. You can check that by opening your Android Studio settings. You can also open this by going to Android Studio uh, settings and then going to plugins. And here you need to make sure that you have a Kotlin multi-platform mobile plugin. There's actually an update, um, but version 0.8.0 should be completely fine to follow through this video. Make sure this is installed, activated, if so, then in order to just migrate this product, it helps a lot if you just create a new blank KMP product so we can just copy over some Gradle config that is just the same for this product. Um, you can do so by going to File, New, New Project, and then scrolling down to Kotlin Multi-Platform App, selecting some kind of name that really doesn't matter. We will just uh, use this reference product to copy over some config. I already did that. You can see here is my Kotlin multi-platform um, reference product, which is completely empty, but uh, I will copy a few things over in this video from this project. So let's first of all think about the structure a KMP project has. We want to switch to the project view to just get a better overview of what we have here. And in native Android, we typically just have one single app module. So the application module where really the magic happens. If you have a multi-module app, then you just have more modules, some Kotlin-specific modules, which only contain Kotlin code, and some Android-specific mod modules, which can also uh, yeah, reference the Android SDK. In simple projects, you typically just have such an application plugin. That is also what you will have and what you need in a KMP project, but you need a little bit more than that. In addition, in KMP, we have a shared module as well, which contains all the code we want to share between iOS and Android and potentially more platforms. So this is really the pure Kotlin code, which is going to be shared, which is also then separated into an Android main and iOS main module. So if you have shared code that just differs a little bit on Android than, it, uh, than on iOS, then you can use these Android main and iOS main modules. I'm pretty sure if you have built something with KM, uh, KMM or KMP, then that won't be new to you. And last but not least, you will have a product folder with an iOS app in a KMP code base. And the first thing that we want to start with uh, for the migration is that we want to rename this app module. Now that is optional, but typically when you create a blank KMP product, this is called Android app, and then you also have an iOS app folder just to be able to distinguish these two. So to do that, click on app, hold down shift and F6 to rename this. Make sure to do select rename module. And then we want to rename this to Android app. Click OK, then Gradle will do some syncing. And after that, you can see it is now called Android app. OK, what is the next step? The next step is we want to create our shared module. If we take a look at our reference product, then that is already created. If we scroll down, this is the shared module. And the shared module is, this, uh, is separated into Android main, as I said, common main for all the shared code and iOS main. And we now want to create this whole thing, which is luckily very easy with the KMP plugin in Android Studio. So we want to right click on our root package, new module, and I want to select a Kotlin multi-platform shared module. The name should of course not be that long. We just want to call this shared. We could add some sample tests. I'll leave that out uh, for iOS. Regular framework is fine unless you want to use uh, something like CocoaPods for dependency management, but I will just leave it at regular framework. Click finish. Gradle will do its job again. Um, we do get some issues here um, because by default, this module is using version catalogs. So uh, just a way to manage your versions in a multi-module project. And we did not yet define these versions in the version catalog. It's of course very optional if you want to use a version catalog. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice addition, 
which is probably also the reason why the Kotlin team decided to um, have such a catalog by default. But in order to apply that in our project, in order to recognize these versions for Kotlin multi-platform, for the Gradle plugin, the Android library, and so on, we should just copy over the version catalog from a blank um, KMP project. And for that, let's move this over here. That version catalog is located here in our Gradle folder, libs.versions.toml. And here we just define all the different versions. Of course, if you now already have some kind of app uh, with a certain size, then you will need more dependencies and more versions than just these few here. But the pattern, how you declare more versions is just, uh, it should be pretty clear by just taking a look at this catalog. So you just define the version, you then uh, define your libraries, which you uh, include with your direct dependencies and potentially Gradle plugins like here. We want to take this libs versions file, copy this, we go inside of our Android project, inside the Gradle folder, and here just paste this exactly as it is. The next thing we need to do is you need to take a look back at our reference project and go to build at Gradle the, at, the, at the project level. I want to just copy paste these Gradle plugins as they are. Just copy this, go to our Android project, open build at Gradle project, and replace this here. So these Gradle plugins also use the version from the version catalog. Of course, as I said, um, if you have more Gradle plugins, then of course just add these here and don't completely replace it. But in this simple case, um, we can just replace it. Click try again. And hopefully Gradle should succeed now and should recognize this um, version reference. Yes, that works. Um, there is still some kind of error Gradle has here, but um, this is not really an important error. So everything will build just fine. That's also how, how the KMP project looks like um, by default. And now if we take a look in our shared module, that looks exactly like in a new KMP project. Of course, if you now already have an existing code base and you now want to migrate that whole code base to a KMP code base, then you have to do a lot more than I show you in the video here because you need to take all your classes that are in Java or just Android specific and migrate them to pure Kotlin code. So for example, if you're using Retrofit, you need to migrate that to something like Ktor for networking. If you're using Room for your database, then you need to migrate that to something like SQL Delight. That just works in your uh, shared module since it's purely Kotlin based. And this is of course the biggest part of a migration, but if how that works is new to you, how you now really take real Android code, native Android code and migrate that to Kotlin code, then I, th then I think my other videos about uh, Kotlin multi-platform will help you more with that where we just build full products so you, you get a good overview of um, how all that stuff just works together. For us in this case, the next thing I want to dive into is our build at Gradle file from Android app because we haven't yet migrated that to use version catalogs. So for the plugins here, we want to replace the ID with alias. So we just reference the version catalog and the notation is lips.plugins.android application because that is our Android application plugin. And we need to make sure that we use the Kotlin Gradle plugin as well. Kotlin Android Gradle alias again and replace this with lips plugins Kotlin Android. Then I want to scroll down. We also need to replace this Kotlin compiler extension version with the version from our version catalog. So lips dot versions compose compiler dot get since we need to reference an exact string here we need to use get and of course you would also need to reference these versions from the catalog down here in your dependencies um, that won't lead to an issue if we don't do it but uh, you want to manage your dependencies at a central place so that is recommended i won't do that here uh, should be pretty straightforward how you do this so you just um, reference the library that you want to use here for activity compose for example you say lips dot, um, let me check what that is. Here we have Android activity compose. That is the dependency we want. So we reference, oops, we reference lips dot Android X activity compose. And that would now also implement the same version, but refer to the version in our version catalog, which we defined here at this point. Okay, I'll revert that um, just to show you how that migration would work how it would look like. And at this point, we should already have a working Android app that uses the shared code in our shared module. But 
the last thing that is missing here for this migration is of course to also set up an iOS project. And where can we create this iOS project? Well, in the IDE that we use for iOS development, Xcode. Let's open Xcode and then click on create new Xcode product. This window will open up. We want to create a normal app, create next, um, click next. The product name should be whatever you want to call this app. In KMM, it's typically just called iOS app, for example, or my iOS app. Um, I don't know, let's call it iOS app. You can select a team. I'll just leave this a blank. You can also change this later. Swift UI, language Swift is fine. Clicking next. And now we need to open the Android project, which we are currently migrating to KMP. Because in that folder, in that code base, we also want to create our iOS project. I will simply drag that in here. So um, that folder will open up and then we can click create. There we go. There is our very blank iOS app. And now what we need to do in Xcode is we need to take this iOS project, which in and of itself does not know anything about our shared module, about how KMP works. So we need to set it up that way. And how do we do that? We go to our iOS app project, click on build faces, and now we need to follow the guide from the official KMP docs. So I opened that here already. You will find this link in the video description where you can just you now copy paste some code. So first of all, I want to scroll down to, where is it? Um, the first thing we need to change is down here um, where, you, where we make our cross-platform application work on iOS. Mm, here, this script, I'm going to copy this and we now want to add a new so-called run script phase in Xcode. So just that it runs this script that we paste here after every build. So we click on this plus, new run script phase and in here we paste what we just copied from the docs and we move this, I think it was after compile sources or before, let me quickly check that again, it should be here. Run script should be before the compile sources phase. Yes, and that is currently the case, as you can see. Next, I want to switch to build settings. Here we also need to make some adjustments. Let's take a look back in Chrome. This is the next line of code that we need to copy. Copy this, then we need to search for framework search path. Right here under filter, framework search path. We can then click in this field, double click, click on plus, paste what we just copied. And the last thing is a thing called other linker flex. There we go. Here we also need to paste something from the docs. Go to Google Chrome, scroll down, and this is it. So copy this text, go to Xcode, double click right off other linker flex, add such an entry, enter, and there we go. That should be the setup for our iOS app. If we now go to content view, our very initial view to really test this if we can now access shared code on iOS as well. We want to reference that shared code of course and by default that shared module of our my created code base contains this greeting. You can see it just prints hello platform name. That platform name depends based on Android or iOS. On Android it will print Android and the um, SDK version and on iOS it will print yeah, whatever iOS version the device is running on. And we can now check this by going to Xcode. First of all, building this product build. Hopefully that succeeds. Yes, build succeeded. We then go to our imports. Since we need to import the shared module now, import shared, you can see that is recognized. And instead of hello world, we can now print greeting dot greet. And if we then launch this, we should hopefully see that it does not show hello world anymore, but rather hello iOS version whatever. There we go, here's the simulator. And yes, hello iOS 16.4. That is working. We can access shared code in our iOS project, in our iOS app. Let's also check if this works on Android. That can of course be done directly inside of Android Studio by just um, first of all, synchronizing Gradle, it seems like. And then when that is done, clicking on play. So we launch our Android app, take a look on our device. 
wait until a Gradle builds this project here, and then we should hopefully see Hello Android um, yeah, in some version. And hello Android, oh, it seems like we're not using the greeting text here, but the app is launching, that is good. Let's go inside of our Android app module, main activity. And the greeting is, yes, it does, it does not yet use the greeting from our shared module, of course. So we can actually say hello. Well, let's just replace this with greeting, just to really check if that works. Um, greeting, and there's a little naming conflict here, so let's just... Re Remove this composable. Say we have a text composable. And then we need to use greeting. Ah, it seems like we did not include the shared module yet. So that's of course important. Um, in our build.gradle file of the Android app module, that seems to be the last thing we need to do. In our dependencies block, we want to reference the shared module, which we can generally do with implementation project shared and if you just created a new KMP project you will notice that um, they handle it a bit differently if we go instead of our Android app module you can see they just reference it with projects that shared that is I think a new feature of Gradle and how we can access such modules if we want to also reference these like this we need to scroll down to settings Gradle and copy this enable feature preview line. So we just explicitly enable these type safe project accessors. So copy this, go in our migrated product, scroll down, settings Gradle, and at the very first line, we paste this, sync this, and then in Android app, after the sync has been successful, instead of product shared, we can also say projects shared like that. That is how we can now reference specific modules in our KMP code base. Back in main activity, now our greeting seems to be recognized, so we can alt enter to import that. And oops, we can then say greeting.greet. If we relaunch this, uh, actually, I need to synchronize this again for some reason. If we relaunch this, take a look here we should now hopefully also say a running Android app that greets us with our very Android-specific greeting that comes directly from the shared code base of our shared module. And it seems there is a little issue. Let's take a look. Uh, it seems like there is a compile issue because the preview isn't fully working. Let's remove this. Try it again. There we go. The app is launching. Hello Android 33. That is looking very good. So we now successfully migrated our native Android code base to a KMP product. So you can now also work on making that work on the iOS side as well. And if all this KMP topic here is new to you and you really want to learn how you can now build these cross-platform, these multi-platform apps with um, Kotlin, then I will link my more advanced Android premium course, not only Android, but Android and iOS premium course using KMP down below where you will build a translator app, all in Kotlin multi-platform that will work on iOS, that will work on Android. So if that's something that sounds good to you, then click the first link in the description and check out the course. Other than that, I will also link an article from JetBrains where they talk about KMP being stable. So if that sounds good to you, you'll also find this link down in this video's description so you can check it out, what that now means, what is new, and all that typical stuff that goes hand in hand with it. Awesome, thank you so much for watching. I will see you back in the next video. Have an amazing rest of your week. Bye-bye.